Welcome back to NBA Cinema. So I want to talk a little bit about what Isaiah Thomas said on NBA TV and what a lot of the NBA players that played with Stephon Mulberry has been saying over the course of the last few months. You know, we saw Rod Strickland. We saw Sham God. We saw a lot of them when Sebastian Telfair made those statements that he was the best guard out of New York City. Most of those guards, Rafer Alston even, also said that uh, Stephon Mulberry is the most talented NYC point guard of all time. And, you know, you, when you got the other one saying it and they all played at a high level, uh, you know, you have to kind of tilt your hat to that. And Marbury has been kind of left out of the Hall of Fame discussions. You know, it, it's almost like a no-brainer. And one of the things that Isaiah Thomas is going to say in this video is if Yao Ming, for what he done in America and in China, is put in the Hall of Fame, then honestly we have to look at Stephon Marbury that way. And a lot of times, you've even seen people like Dino Raja uh, make the Hall of Fame. So... What Stephon Marbury has done in basketball would at least definitely eclipse that. Um, you know, so a lot of times it's looked at in a way in reverse where if they start out in America and they have an exit like Stephon Marbury did, um, you know, when he was going through some personal things in his life, it's like they hold those times against him and forget about everything else he did in the game of basketball, man. So, without further ado, we're going to listen to Isaiah Thomas and we're going to listen to Stephon Marbury's emotional response. So, Zeke, when you first coached him, brought him in, to what Jamal just said, you're the most talented guy I've ever played with. Uh, what, what would you say about Stephon Marbury in one sentence? I, like I, I, would, I would have to agree in terms of, you know, the team that we had in New York with, with Marbury, Crawford, and then we had Nate, you know, Channing Fry, David Lee, you know, Eddie Curry, Zach Randall. I mean, th th those guys were all young. And I wish we all could have stayed together and we would have had a chance to grow. But let me say this about Stefan Marbury, right? As a Hall of Famer, and I'm speaking as a Hall of Famer, Stefan Marbury should be in the Hall of Fame. Now, here's why. Of course, his numbers you know, in terms of what he's done in the NBA. He's impacted basketball in the United States of America, as Jamal Crawford said, culturally. Mm -hmm. But then he goes over to China, and he's impacted basketball in China. Now, if Yao Ming, y'all hear me closely, if Yao Ming is in the Basketball Hall of Fame for his impact on basketball in China, in the U.S., mm. The only other person who has impacted basketball in China and US, in the US to that significance is Stefan Marbury. So Stefan Marbury should be in the Hall of Fame. I've been calling for it for a long time and I'm calling, it for, calling for it again tonight. Put Stefan Mar Marbury in the Hall of Fame. So Isaiah Thomas just advocated for me to make it into the Hall of Fame. Can't lie, he told me he was going to do that. I appreciate that. I really do. Um, it's a blessing to have, it's a blessing to have a Hall of Famer. A Hall of Famer. Bye. Say that, you're a Hall of Fame. Bye-bye, she's here. That's a different, that's a different game when a Hall of Famer said, Blessings, that's all I can say. Put my numbers in, baby. Put my numbers in. I want to share that because, man, we all know about the uh, tumultuous relationship at the time that Stephon Marbury and Isaiah Thomas had, you know, when they were player coach and that was their relationship until they had that, you know, come to Jesus meeting where they talked to each other and really got to iron some things out. And, you know, ever since then, Stephon Marbury has respected him to the utmost. And Zeke has been advocating for him, man. And, th and that was one of the good things about Zeke. He was relatable to those guys because he come from where those guys come from. 
and you know he had been a star in the league before too so uh it's it's nice to see it come full circle where he's one of the leading voices uh you know for him potentially getting into the hall of fame and also when you look back at when he saved steven jackson's career after that brawl and everything you know that the nba was done with steven jackson but he put a call in you know to uh keep him in the league so i know a lot of people want to talk about his feelings towards michael jordan and all that but look at what he's done for others as far as like you know saving their careers or advocating for them on a high level you know so i want to talk about that side of zeke too because i know michael jordan is the popular guy and so it'll look like Zeke's hating to most people. You know what I'm saying? And maybe, who knows? Maybe that, maybe with that he is, maybe he not. You know, he's the one that's dealing with it. So I don't get uh, too much into that stuff because I, I can only make an observation from the outside. But when you see things like that, it's nice, man, to see that. I think Stephon Marbury does belong in the Hall of Fame. If you look at his numbers, I'm going to post you know some of his prime numbers right here uh you know 20 and 8 over and over again you know what i'm saying for for multiple years then go over there to china win those titles uh, play at a high level and it's a big misconception that he was playing some low level basketball uh it was a lot of top players have gone on to play over there you look at like was it boogie cousins mike beasley um, there's been other good NBA players that played in those leagues. You know what I'm saying? So it's not just some low-level basketball that he was over there playing. Um, you know what? I, I wish more guys would embrace this. A lot of times people don't want to go overseas because it just doesn't have the allure in America that you're still playing at the highest level and you'd rather be seen on the end of an NBA bench than you know getting to play overseas and i know it's a culture shock and everybody's not cut out for it but stefan mulberry went over there and made the most of his opportunity and really uh show people a different way you know number one there's a lot of money to be made over there um endorsements aren't just taking place in america you know what i'm saying you get your endorsement deals over there too so again it's a lot of money to be made a lot of different ways over there. So, Mulberry, you know, seeing him do his thing, seeing him relaunch uh, his shoes. Uh, I think he named the shoes after his son this time. Um, and they not $15 no more. I think they 100 or something like that. But seeing him relaunch his brand and doing all the things he wants to do in business over there uh, on top of his great basketball career, I just wanted to salute that and commend that today. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. Do you think Stefan Marbury should be in the Hall of Fame? Let me know. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time. Peace.